Hi, I'm Jeff Ford with the YouTube show Auto Resto Mod, and we're here with Mike Eaton from Eaton Detroit Springs to talk to you a little bit about Harsh Ride. Okay, Mike, I put my car together, got everything rolling down the road, and it rides like a buckboard. I've got brand new springs and brand new shocks. What's going on? What type of shocks you put on it, Jeff? I think I put some gas shocks on that car. That's probably the reason why. Really? Older cars were not designed for gas shocks. Hydraulic shocks is what those cars use. What's the difference between a gas shock and a hydraulic shock? We've all had gas shocks. We've picked up gas shocks. We go to push them together like this, and they just don't want to go. And when we finally let it go, it extends all the way back out by itself. Yeah, I've had gas shocks. When you get them out of the box, they've actually got wire little, holding little the two ends together yeah. so that the box can be shorter, I guess. Well, actually, so you can install it, too. When you go to hook it in, you got to be real quick when you cut that wire to catch it into the hole to exactly, get it to go in exactly. there. Exactly. Hydraulic shock, on the other hand, there's no gas. It's not gas charged. The, the uh, oil flows in between the upper and lower part of the rod all by itself through a little valve, and you can open and close it by your hand just like that. The strength of the suspension is measured by rate. Rate is the amount of weight it takes to deflect the spring one inch. A 65 Mustang, for the sake of discussion, its normal spring rate is about 110 pounds. You take a gas shock, they can have a rate of up to 75 pounds. In other words, it takes 75 pounds of pressure to push that shock down. Not all of them, but a lot of them are like that. Where a hydraulic shock, it takes almost nothing to push it down. So the hydraulic shock is adding nothing to the resistance of the body going up and down, suspension working up and down, where a gas shock is. Chances are you take off that gas shock, install a hydraulic shock, smooth that ride right out. And the purpose of a shock is to control the release of the energy of a spring. As the, as the body of the car goes down, the weight's causing the spring to deflect. For every action, there's got to be a reaction, so when the car's got to come back up again. If that action wasn't controlled, the car would just sit there and bounce up and down uncontrollably. Right. That's how one way we can tell we have bad shocks. Okay, and that's one of the problems, I guess, too. You'll find if you're going over, uh, say, railroad tracks and you have that feeling like the car is just bouncing all over the place, if you got a gas shock on there, that could be what's causing that. The suspension doesn't have a chance to do what it's designed to do, and that is deflect on that imperfection in the road. The whole car is following the contour instead of the wheels following the contour, axle following the contour, and the body staying pretty steady, the whole thing has to react because there's too much strength in the rear or front suspension, whatever the case may be, and that's due to because of the strength of the gas shock. All right. If you want to get some more information, go out to Eaton's website, www.eatonsprings.com.